Hello guys, welcome to the Deva Garina. In the previous video, we have seen about async storage in React Native. Now apply that in some scenario. Suppose we want a user to stay logged in in our React Native application. Like whenever user closes our React Native application and opens it again, he should be logged in in our application. So let's see how can we keep user logged in using async storage. Let's see the code. This is my app.js and here I am handling this uh, login screen navigator. And the first component of the login screen navigator is my login screen. Now first have a look at the navigation. Like here I have created two navigations, two navigators, two stack navigator. One is first screen navigator in which I have my home page and one login screen navigator in which I have my login page. So what we will do. We will get variable name keep logged in using async storage and if user is logged in then we will show this uh, if user is logged in then we will show this first screen navigator and if user is not logged in then we will show login screen navigator. So the first step is go to your login function and inside that store a variable. In the previous video I have already explained it. But how can you store all this? And I am giving variable name as keep logged in. Okay. And then store it as true. Now if you remember that we have to store this boolean value in json.stringify format. To true. Now our first step is done. Now let's access it in application.js. Now here I will create a variable is log you state true false and now let's create a function and inside that get async value get item keep logged in now we can write it in uh, try and catch okay Bonds data is equals to and now let's store it in this way in this state okay uh, and don't forget about that it is an asynchronous method so you have to use async and await all this thing I have explained it in previous video so you can watch that and now let's save it and we are getting some error. Okay, can't find variable reply data. Oh, sorry. I am much more familiar in writing code in uh, class component. That's why it is happening. Okay. Reply data. Now our first step is done. Let's console this data. We are getting from async storage. And in the Console we can get it as true. Okay, no, we are getting null. That may made some mistake. Go to login. Okay. Yeah, let's okay. I made the spelling mistake here. Like we you have to you have to remember that uh keep the variable name same. Okay, now it is good. Now you just have to add condition here that if user is logged in like is logged then show first stack first screen navigator which is my home screen otherwise show login screen navigator let's remove this and at the moment when i hit save you can see that the home screen appears 
Now also make changes in the logout function. In that we have to clear the value. So here keep logged in to also I have token here that to a null and just navigate it to my login screen. Now you can see that we are ready. Now I will show you here. The moment I hit log out, just refresh it. You can see that I will get login screen only. <coughs> okay, we are getting a login screen. Now let's try by logging. You can see that we have been logged in successfully. Let's close the app, open it again. You can see here that we are getting our home screen. So in this way, we can easily manage our user logged in using async story. Okay, one more important thing. You can see here, we are at the home screen, but when we press the back button, it is going back to the login screen. So in the next video, we will be handling this like it totally disturbs the flow of our application. So we want that whenever user is on the home screen and if the user presses the back button, then there should be an alert saying that whether you want to exit the application or not. So this thing we will be handling in our next video. Till then stay tuned. And if you found this video helpful, then please like, share and subscribe. Thank you.